I want to talk really quickly about transferring your schematic to the PCB editor once you're done uh, laying out the basics of your schematic. So um, here I have the schematic and I have went ahead and I made footprints for everything. Uh, each thing, uh, I went ahead and made it uh, independently. I made footprints for each thing in the PCB editor. And then I went into Capture CIS and I opened up each thing and I put the footprint that I made into the footprint window. And so I did this for each and every one of these components. Um, and I just want to make sure a couple of things are working first. So I want to first, I'm just going to go ahead and run a design rules check on it. And I'm going to hit run. And I've spent some time uh, moving the schematic around and changing some stuff so that it does pass a design rules check. Um, another good thing to do is to update all these uh, reference designators so that way they're all in order and they go one, two, three, and it's not like 20 and 30 and just random random numbers. And we can do that really quickly by just using this annotate button in Cadence and we can select reset parts to the question mark and then hit continue. And you'll notice everything now has a question mark after it and we'll just do it again and do incremental reference update and press OK. And once we've done that, um, we're just going to netlist design, the design. And you can do this with this netlist button. And then just press that, hit OK, and it shouldn't run into any issues as long as you've passed the DRC and everything has footprints. Um, if some stuff is missing footprints, you might see that here. Um, once that's complete, we can do PCB and then do New Layout. And it's going to ask for the Layout folder. Uh, I'm just going to put it in this folder. It's just a folder for my the first version of this board. And it's going to ask for the name of the board file. So I'm just going to put that there and hit yes. And then it'll ask you to open up the PCB editor and you are ready to start creating your board. You can turn on grids by pressing this button here and you can start placing components by going to place and then manually. Um, as you select each component, um, it should pop up and you should be able to, to place it in the in the screen. So for example, uh, this U1 here is my PSOC component and I can place it uh, down and then these blue lines will appear where the connections should be. So um, placing these components uh, is for a different, uh, different uh, discussion, uh, but this is how you get through here. So good luck. So I've placed a few components onto my board and I'm noticing uh, now I have an issue with some switches. And so I select these components and I'm not noticing that any switch is being placed. Um, so first of all, I notice that uh, it's, it says I can't load the symbol BF3-4055. And so I've pulled up my um, cadence symbols directory and I found the, the, the pad stack that I drew and I noticed that I named it wrong. So it's BF3-4055 and it should be B3F-4055. So um, I need to make a change to my PCB um, and I've already laid out some stuff so I don't want to um, delete my progress so far. So um, I'm going to go back to um, my capture CIS and these switches are the switches that are problematic. So I'll go ahead and open these up and these are the problematic things. I have to change it to B3F on all these and then I'll just go ahead and save my changes. And I'll go ahead and close my board so that way I can re-update it. I'll make sure I save my changes to my board. And uh, I'll go ahead and re-netlist my design. And there shouldn't be any errors with the netlisting. All I've done is I updated a footprint. And I can do PCB, New Layout. And what I can do here is I can set the input board file um, to be the existing board file uh, that I just that I've already been modifying. So that way it takes the existing board file and it just makes the necessary modifications, and then uh, and then it, it uh, and then we, we will see the changes reflected in the new board file. And then I'll just go ahead and update the board number. And we'll see that this board looks exactly the same. This is a new file, it's test project two dot board. Um, so it's a new file, but uh, it should have the necessary change. So if we do place manually and we place our switches, we should see that the footprint uh, now works.